Hey son, hey. Are you like me and love to work with frames in Canva? But sometimes you want a specific frame and you can't find it in Canva. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create your own special frames and how you can save them to use them later on. Unfortunately, this is only possible to do using Canva Pro. So if you are a free user and want to try this yourself, I have a link down in the description for a 30-day trial of Canva Pro. You also need Microsoft Word to be able to do this. But let's move over to my computer and get started. So here we are at my Canva home. And the first thing I'm going to do is to create the template for what will later on be my frame. So in this case, I'm going to start with an Instagram post. I'm going to use some elements for my frames. When you pick your elements, you need to think about if they are single color and if you can change the color. So, in this case, the first one I'm going to create is an elephant. And here we have lots and lots of elephants. It's a pro element and I resize it so it fills almost my whole page. That's all I need to do in this first step. Now I need to download this and this is where the Canva Pro comes into play. You need to download it as an SVG file, a sharp vector graphic. And that is only available for Canva Pro users. Select SVG and we go to download. I'm going to save this right at my desktop for now. Next step is to open a new blank Word document. When I am in Word, I have to insert and I go to pictures this device and I go to desktop and here is the file I just saved. Next step in Word is to go on the graphics format up to the left here you see convert to shape. You can also do that by right click and you have convert to shape. So now we have this is the elephant itself and the background here is the whole download I did from Canva. So now when we have the elephant as a shape, we go back to shape format and shape fill. In this case, we're going to fill it with a picture. I chose this one. So now I have the elephant filled with this photo. Next step is to save as or save a copy. I choose desktop again and I name this elephant frame and I change my format to PDF and save. Now I'm done with my word here. I go back to my Canva where I click create design and down to the bottom right we have import file and here we have the frame I just created in word as saved as a PDF so I choose elephant frame. Under your projects, under design, I will find this elephant frame. I double click on it and it opens. And now you can see here is the elephant frame and there is the white background from the original. Now I can resize this. Next step to see that it is a frame is that I right click and detach image and I can delete that image. And as you can see, this looks like the regular frames and now I can choose any type of photo to drag into my frame. Next question is how can I save this to reuse? First of all, I check that I have a name that I will remember. In this case, it's called elephantframe.pdf. Next thing I do is I go to file, save to folder your project and here I have a folder named DIY frames. So I choose that and hit save. Let me now go back to my folders here. 
and let's open DIY frames. This is the last one I did. I have these clouds and if I want to use the cloud frame now, I just open that. I'm copying the cloud. I go back to home and I choose an, the format of a post that I want to do. In this case, I chose Instagram post and I just click paste. Now I have my frame here. I can resize it. I can detach the image and I can search for another image. Let's say that I want this to be a forest and maybe I would like that one. I just drag it into my frame. So I hope you found this inspirational, interesting, fun or all of the above and that you will try yourself to create your own frames. If you don't have Canva Pro, as I said, I have a 30-day link in the description that you can use to try for free for 30 days. Until next time, hey Dawn.